This here is X. It's April 15, 2024, and negativity about Harry and Meghan is still trending, and I think it probably will for a while. Let's see what we got today. Team Whale says even children have her number. This was in South Africa when she was handing out used toys and clothing to poor mothers. With all her millions, she did not see fit to put it together in some baskets with new items. Right, so I guess the criticism is, with all this money, you can't just give out some new toys. Economy's bad, times are tough, but I've got kids and I buy toys, and they're still somewhat affordable. Especially if it's not the specific thing they have to have. I think if I could afford new toys, so can Megan. 5,300 views from April 13th, not so bad. Meghan Markle always looks like a bag lady. This was in Scotland when she wore a coat covered in lint and dirty pants dragging on the ground, as we see here. I don't know, I gotta say, if this is real, by the way, because Photoshop does exist, but all right, I'll take it at face value for now, I'm okay with this. If she wants to dress down or in different ways sometimes, all right, I don't quite see the issue. It gives her a bit more of a human element, I guess. I might be missing something, but that's my knee-jerk reaction. MM is our poster girl for Ugly America, a title she's earned fair and square on her own merit. You get a heart. Sure, I won't argue. Someone points this out, a growing royal crisis. Kind of a nifty little cover there. Don't know what magazine this is. I guess it's best. More spare than ever. As the royal family crisis continues, it's a reminder of the divide between Prince Harry and his brother, but could Harry's choice not to put duty first be on his mind? And also from Team Wales, when I was a child, my father grabbed at my nose and then pulled away with his thumb between his fingers saying, I've got your nose. I thought I'd been badly disfigured. The torment I suffered still haunts me to this day. That must be a joke out of context, man. Yeah, my parents did that. Oh, I got your nose and your thumb is in there. Maybe parents these days don't still do that, but it was pretty common in the 80s, I think. Maybe he's trying to play into the fact that it's not done today and people should think that was weird or something. It is a little bit of a weird thing to say if you think about it really critically, but it was really common. And it's not like people did it deliberately to scare you, and it's not like you actually thought your nose was gone. Okay, well, let's move on. When you move to your former colony and find out the peasants are allowed to voice their opinions. Mostly peaceful memes. All right, you get a heart. The Queen says, this is what I call a major downgrade. 16,000 views and one more heart now. Not the most flattering picture of Megan, but I won't complain. Someone posts this from the Daily Mail. Americans deliver another damning blow to Meghan Markle as they reveal thoughts on American Riviera Orchard in new Daily Mail poll. All right, so they're reporting on their own poll. Thumbs down for Meghan's store. Looks like they got it broken up politically here. They're not interested very heavy on the red side, but there's not so much interest on the blue side either, especially the older you get. Part for you. Seems like Megan's not very popular, no matter what political side you're on. But not going too deep into that. Kind of odd they broke it up like that anyway. Harry Charity in bed with Africa thugs. So this story came out, and it seems like there was alleged abuse involving some of Harry's charities that are ongoing in helping African towns. Even some gunfire at some point somewhere. It wasn't proven. It was from Harry's guys. Harry's charity and things like that, but it could have been because it was in the area that they were circling or one of the areas they go to. You get a heart. 11,000 views, by the way. This stuff's trending pretty good. Here it was. Guards of Prince Harry's Africa Conservation Charity face new killing and torture allegations from last month, about a month ago. This is self-explanatory. You get a heart and 15,000 views for a donkey and Meghan Markle. Way to go. I'm jealous. As you can see, these go down and down, mostly from April 13th, some from the 9th, but all pretty new. Let's end it on this one here. Don't know what it's about, but pretty funny. Pretty poor quality, but yeah, all right. Heartworthy. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. If you don't, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. Done here for now. See you next time.